Hello and welcome to Beginner's Guide to Dwarf Fortress. My name is Jemalf and in this tutorial series I will show you how to play Dwarf Fortress. How to get started with some advanced tips thrown in every now and then. I will build an example of fortress showing exactly what to do and how to do it to build your fortress and help your dwarves survive. In this first video I will download and install Dwarf Fortress configure it to my liking and install a graphics package. And then in the upcoming parts of the series I will create a new world, tell you how to choose an Empark location, what to look for, how to set the Empark profile, what skills to pick for the dwarves, what items to take. And then in the gameplay itself, step by step, build the fortress, so what to do, what not to do. You can Download Dwarf Fortress for free from Dwarf Fortress website at pay12games.com forward slash dwarves with the download links there in the front page. However, I will download and install the game using Lazy Noob Pack. There's a link to Lazy Noob Pack in the video description. You can find it in Dwarf Fortress forums, pay12forums.com. Or you can use Google or your preferred search engine and look for Lazy Noob Pack, Dwarf Fortress or something along those lines. Lazy Noob Pack not only includes the game, but it comes with some very useful utilities and graphics packages. When you have found your way into this page, download Lazy Noob Pack from Dwarf Fortress File Depot or one of the available mirrors. If you think you don't need utilities like Stone Sense, which enables you to view, view your fortress in isometric 3D view, just download the basic version. After you have downloaded Lazy Noob Pack, get the archive and open it with 7-zip or whatever archive management program you use and extract the contents into a folder of your choosing. I created a DF folder into my games directory. If you download Dwarf Fortress on its own and not the Lazy Noob Pack, you will have something like this. Dwarf Fortress main game files. Everything in the game can be configured manually, like in the data init folder, the init.txt and d underscore init.txt files, but all these can easily be tweaked through the Lazy Noob Pack graphical user interface. The first thing you uh, might want to do, if your computer has more than 2 gigabytes of memory, meaning you have at least 3, go to the Lazy Noob Pack directory and extras and run the large address aware program. Browse to wherever your Dwarf Fortress game directory is and choose the Dwarf Fortress executable and open it. Check the box to enable the application to use more than 2 GB of memory and then save. And that's all you need to do. This will help with some issues in the game and it helps the game to use more memory or use all the memory you have depending on the operating system. When you are ready, start Lazy Noob Pack. It will look something like this. And the first thing you will want to do if you want to use a graphics package is go to the graphics tab. I'll be using the Foebus graphics, graphics package, so I choose it and install it. This will update the files in the Dwarf Fortress folder itself including the save files if you have any. This will confirm do you want to do it, do you want to update the save files. I don't have any, but I will still answer yes. You want to start with the graphics installation because this uh, resets all the options in the init files and the other game files. So if we go to the options, we see that the Phoebus graphics package actually changed something here. It's enabled the liquid depth to yes, and that's an option I want to keep on as well. 
If you want to make the game easier or simpler for yourself, you might want to disable certain features here, like acquirers or even invaders, if you don't want any goblin sieges coming on you. But uh, where's the fun in that? So I will leave it on. In the advanced section, again, Phoebus Graphics Package disabled sound and intro movie. That is fine, but if you want to check out the intro movie, I recommend you check it at least once. It's uh, pretty cool. Or you can stay tuned at the very end of this video and watch the intro movie then. If you want to play on full screen, you can uh, make the game not windowed or ask for it. The frames per second counter is uh, very useful, since uh, when your fortress starts to grow big, uh, it is possible that it starts to slow down, and with the FPS counter you'll be able to spot when that happens. The autosave options are here if you want to use them. I like to use seasonal autosaves, and I also want, like to have a save right at the beginning of the game. Especially here when I'm doing a tutorial series, just in case I want to uh, do some retakes. If you choose to make backup saves, all the different seasons will go to a different save folder. So, in theory, you can uh, uh, revert back to uh, any, any, uh, any season in the past. However, I recommend not uh, loading saves, if you will, uh, in Dwarf Fortress, but uh, just take whatever comes at you and try to survive. Because uh, that's where the fun Dwarf Fortress trademark comes in. There are utilities in Lazy New Pack, as I mentioned. One of the most useful, and the one I'll be showing to you as well, is Dwarf Therapist. Another one, if you want sounds, music, and some cool dwarf four voices in the game, is SoundSense. So do install and uh, download the music pack for this running the program. Also, if you want to add some uh, additional utilities to this interface, like I have done, I have a special version of Dwarf Therapist uh, with Splinter Mind attributes. I uh, added that program in the Lazy New Pack directory, Utilities and Advanced section. I created a folder here. And when I did that, it uh, became visible in the Lazy New Pack Utilities. After you have set all the options, open the Init Editor. You might want to edit certain, certain things here as well that are not shown in the graphical user interface. We can see that the game is windowed, there is no sound, there is no intro. These are the uh, options that for Lazy New Pack changed. One thing I like to set here is uh, set up default resolutions. Since we are using graphics, we uh, will set them here and not there above. And also, sometimes I want to play on full screen, so I also uh, set the full screen options. If I happen, happen to uh, disable the graphics at some moment, uh, I still uh, often configure these options here above. But as mentioned, these uh, will not count as long as you use graphics. One thing I change is the print mode. Um, there is an explanation of this there above, but uh, I like to use the standard option. Even that it says that uh, it might be the slowest OpenGL mode, but I still use it. It runs smoothly for me, and uh, when you are recording Dwarf Fortress, you might actually need to put the standard in there, if you record like I do. Save the options, and you'll be ready to play Dwarf Fortress. And this will be in the next video, when I fire up the game, create a new world, tell you how to choose an Empire location, and move on from there. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, but uh, especially the upcoming parts where it's uh, about the game and not just downloading and installing it. So uh, please leave any questions and comments you, uh, you have below, and uh, check out the next parts in the playlist with the link in the video description. I'll see you on the next video. Take care. Bye bye.
Thank <laughs> you.